In this video, we're going to talk about some display and accommodation settings you can change on your iPhone or other iOS device to make it easier to see. That includes text sizes, inverting colors, color filters, making things bolder, and so much more. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. First of all, I wanted to thank my dad for letting me borrow his old iPhone. It's an iPhone 7 and it has the latest iOS version. So today I wanted to go over some settings that you can change in your iPhone, whether you're low vision, visually impaired, or just want to help a friend out. This is completely different from the zoom feature on iPhone and I actually have already made a video on that and I will link that up here and down in the description and on my website if you guys want to know how to use that and how that works and all the settings that go along with it. And if you're new here, welcome to Live Accessible. We make videos on tutorials, tips, and encouragement for blind, visually impaired, or their sighted supporters. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell to watch more videos like this one. Hopefully these settings can make your mobile device more accessible and easy to see. So let's get into it. So here I am on iPhone. So here is the iPhone on the home screen and what you want to do is go to settings, mobile. settings. Two new items. and select tap, that tap, settings. and scroll down until you get to display and brightness, display and, brightness button. and select that one. Selected settings back button. And here you have a lot of different options like brightness and the second one down is night shift. Dis so night shift can actually make your screen um, a bit more warm. If that white is too glaring for you, you can make that a little bit warmer. If you go back to display and brightness, there's a lot of other options like text size, but you don't want to change it here. You can actually make it bigger in another spot that we'll go over later. And text size. what One. is interesting Gold is text. display zoom. Hitting. Display zoom. So this one is only found in the displays and brightness settings and not in um, under accessibility. But choose a view for iPhone. Zoom shows larger controls. Standard shows more content. So like it said, if you have it on standard, that's like the normal way of viewing things. But if you have it on zoom, it's going to zoom everything, including icons and um, some text. So here you can see the standard and if you select zoom, it's going to be bigger. So if you go back to settings and go under general, general button. Selected. Settings. and find button. accessibility, Home button. accessibility button. Selected. General. and select that, we have a lot more options here. Accessibility so, vision, voiceover, zoom, magnifier, display accommodation, speech, button, larger text, on, button. So right here is larger text. So this is where you want to go if you want to change your text size and make it bigger than normal. So first you want to turn that on and then down on the bottom there's a slider that you can adjust. On size, 55%. If you want, you can make it pretty big, but just remember that the bigger the text that you choose, the less content there is going to show and the harder sometimes it will be to navigate. And also there are only some apps that accept this size of a font, um, especially native apps like the ones that come with your iPhone like messages and calls and such. A lot of third party apps don't support extra large fonts like these. And this is really good if you need more contrast and you want your text bold. And I already have this on. So this is what it looks like without that bold text. So you can see that there is a pretty big difference. So going back to accessibility, the next one down button is shapes. On button double shape. Tap to toggle setting. And that just emphasizes what buttons look like. I choose to turn that one on. Reduce transparency on button. This one I definitely turn on because a lot of things have like a kind of transparent background and that's hard to see. So if you want more contrast, consider turning that on. Increase contrast on button. So if you like contrast, definitely turn that on. Reduce motion on button. The next one is reduced motion and if the parallax um, effect on the iPhone and certain like 3D effects bothers you, you can turn that off and try to experiment which is better for you. Now if you go back near the top, Reduce. if you select display accommodations, selected accessibility back button. there's more options here. So the display first one invert colors. is button. invert colors and I actually really like to invert my colors. 
Display accommodations. And back button. And there's two types of inversion. There's smart invert and classic invert. So classic invert just basically inverts almost all of your phone. The smart invert tries to keep your pictures the same and some backgrounds and everything like that. So when you're on Instagram or Facebook, you can still see pictures normally with um, light text on a dark background. But the classic invert actually inverts the colors of pictures as well. So I prefer to use smart invert. So that's what it looks like with a smart invert on. If you go to the home, you can see that all the icons and the background still looks the same. Classic invert off. Double tap to toggle on. If you turn on classic invert and you go back to the home screen, you can see that the icons and the background are inverted. So this is why I definitely prefer the smart invert, but you can choose whichever one works better for you. Now, if you go back to the display accommodations, there's more here. Color filters off. If you go into color filters and you turn this on, color filters off. on. you have more um, filters like grayscale and a couple different other filters. And you can even select your own color tint. Just go to the bottom and then you can choose a color from there. If you go back to display accommodations, the next one down is auto brightness. And I like to keep this off. I know that it does spend more battery. But for me, um, when I look at my phone closely, I need it to be brighter for me to be able to see it. And I need that contrast. And I also don't like how it always changes depending on the lighting, but you can keep that on or off whatever's better for you. Now the last option here is to reduce white point. If you go to the slider and you um, adjust this, 32 for 40%, 40, 50, 60, 70%, 77%. It makes less contrast so that this way if um, the white bothers you, but you still need that brightness, you can change that right here. So we will still kind of keep the same brightness, but instead of making it white, it'll kind of make it gray. So for certain eye conditions, this might be better. It really just depends on uh, what is better for you. So those are some settings that you can change and experiment with, whether you're visually impaired or just have some low vision. I hope this video helps and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on how you can live accessible. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.